What is up guys? Welcome back to another Dynamo video. In this Dynamo video, we're going to look at a really basic script. This might be the most basic script that we look at as far as functionality, uh, what it's doing, and kind of the script itself. But before we get into it, if at any point in this video you happen to learn something, which I hope you do, please, please, please demolish that like button. It really helps me out a lot. Okay, getting into it now. We are looking at resetting overrides in Revit. Now, you might have a lot of overrides in Revit. Maybe you maybe you don't. Maybe you don't override by element, by category, anything like that. But the point is, this script is going to make it super easy for you per view to reset all the overrides that you have in that view, which is really nice. It, maybe you didn't make the view. It's a mess. You need that view. You just want to reset it. You just want to start over. Or you, in this case, what we're going to do, the way I'm going to test it out, is show you a different Dynamo script that's going to review all the warnings that we have in this particular model. And basically, that will just override visually what we see. I have, I've done that, and I've got that script in a completely different video. So check that out first uh, to get an idea of what we're doing here, because I'm not going to go over the review warning script in this video. But what I'm going to do is actually run that script so we have something to work with um, as far as overrides. And then we can see what the reset overrides Dynamo script will do. All right. So here we go. I, I've got review warnings. I'm going to play this right here. And of course, the way I built it in is that I need some inputs. Am I ready to proceed? Yes. What warning type do I want to look at specifically or turn red? Um, let's look at this one in particular. Uh, highlighted walls overlap. And then we can play this. And you can see our result is clearly like it's overriding the views. I've got every element that's not does not include a warning in gray. Warnings that do populate in this view, orange, and then the one specifically to this type of warning that I've selected, highlight walls overlap, those are in red. So anyways, this is great. It's cool. It's doing its thing. I don't care about this, actually, but what, because what I care about is resetting the overrides in this view. All I've done at this point is introduce a bunch of overrides, uh, because if I select this element, I can see that editing these overrides, clearly, I have a ton here that I don't want to have to come over here to select. I don't even want to select everything all at once then come to override by element and then reset, like press the reset button. I don't even want to have to do that, which is why this script exists. So what I can do simply is come over here to reset overrides in view. Just note that it's per view. If you're in a plan, it works per plan. If you're in any view, it works per view. So it's not per project. You can edit the script if you want to, but I would recommend you keep it just per view so you don't globally re <laughs> reset all the elements. People will get mad at you, believe me. So Obviously, I have this built in. Am I ready to proceed? Yes, of course. It did it successfully reset all elements initially? No, it didn't, but I'm ready now to do this. I press play, and we'll see what happens. Look at this. I reset 459 elements in one second. Easy. Done all of them. You can see here, did I successfully reset all the elements? Boom. Yes, I did. And so finally, I do want to like actually edit this in Dynamo so I can show you the script, get, give you an idea of what's going on. It's very simple. I, it It's going to do exactly what we just saw, which is take any view that you're looking at, reset those elements, and then be done. Move on with it. Just report, did it work? And then how many elements? So let's go ahead and see this now that Dynamo is opened. So I can see, yeah, am I ready to proceed? Cool. It's going to work regardless. But if I don't have true checked, then it just, it won't run. It'll just stop right there. So it's getting all the elements in the view based on the current document. And then I am resetting all of those elements that are in the view, that particular view, and then simply reporting, was that successful? Yeah or no? And then literally reporting how many elements were reset. Easy, so easy. This is this is a great starter script if you're trying to get into Dynamo, just copy what you see here, or I'm gonna leave this, of course, in the description below. You can download this for free, no issues there. And we'll, that's it. We're, we're done. We can reset really quickly every override of all the elements in every view, if we want to, per view, of course. <laughs> so that will do it for this video. I know this is a quick one. If you happen to learn something or just like the video, please demolish that like button. It really helps me out a lot. And I appreciate all of the comments. And if you have any comments, leave those down below. I will be sure to answer them all. All right, that will do it. I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Thank you very much for watching.